Hi Gemini, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your what the fuck reading. Um, the 28th of March through to the 3rd of April. Um, just one little announcement. I've just bought this idea and I've seen other people do it. And I kind of thought I'll just give it a go. Um, it's just a little bowl of um, little ceramic beads that... I've got letters on them, there's not even any numbers, and that's what I'd like to get is numbered ones as well, but I think these are a bit tiny. Um, so what I'm going to do is at the end of the reading I will pull some of those beads out, and they will be initials of names, um, first names, surnames, uh, names of places, names of a job, whatever it means to you, um, just take it as it is. It was funny because I did a reading I think it was Taurus and they've got an opportunity card come up in their energy and then at the end I pulled out three beads for them and it was OPP and I was like well you just can't make that shit up can you so they've all been crikey they came out quick they've all been blessed um yeah so we're just gonna see how we get on with them hold on dog I'm gonna grab my glasses out my bag hope everybody's doing okay welcome to the channel if you've not been here before if you have been here before thank you so much for your support especially um over last year because you were, were all diamonds your energy cards are number 29 horned cactus resourcefulness do you know that a cactus holds all the water and the nutrients it needs um prickly buggers though aren't they really um yeah i just get the gemini you're not relying on anybody it's the number 11 as well which you know soul soul number prime number whatever you want to call it in numerology um it's the learning and teaching number it's right at the bottom of the 11 22 33 44 they've all got different meanings but the 11 um the way i was taught it is that it's the learning and teaching card so the resourcefulness I'm getting not only are you resourceful and you can hold on to things and make things work for you but I'm getting that you're also passing that on to other people magician shorts magician blah, blah, magician's sword confidence in your magic darlings this is a number 10 card this is a completion with the 37 added together I do love that sword I really do confidence i'm getting that you are building in confidence didn't you have a bit of an iffy reading last week wasn't it one of those kind of like if you do you know it'll go well i'm sure you might have even had that card out and if you don't yeah then you're skywriting the fates now when you break that number down you have got a 13 add it together and it is a four Darling, sky writing. That's all about your authoring. It's all about um, your storytelling, what you want for your destiny. Create the one that you want. And it is talking about the fates. And I'm kind of getting that. <sighs> With all that mist and the planet and the stars and everything, I kind of get that the world's your oyster. And where you've been resourceful and you're teaching that to other people your confidence is built um and it's almost like the planet is saying to you come on this is yours it's okay you can do this and then just like magic you get the eye of the needle intentionality darlings you've got your eye on something you've got your eye on something that you've intended to do for a while uh, with a number eight card there may have been a lack of communication or a communication go wrong but there is something that you've wanted to do for a while and all of a sudden you can see the intention behind it and you're understanding that the intention is part of you doing an actioning um, it's like a stepping stone for you. So the eye of the needle, I mean, I don't know if you know, but it is bloody difficult to thread a needle, let alone see a freaking eyeball through it. 
and if you turn it sideways this is what I like about this if you turn it sideways it does look like an eye it looks like um, your third eye opening and it's almost like there's a realization hold on a second I've been resourceful I've been doing that shit and I'm more confident in myself and the planet is now saying the fates are on your side. There's runes and everything in that picture. Look, these runes just here. Um, write, write it down. Write it down. Sky write it. Write it in the sky if you want to. But write it down. Read it. Think about it. Put it into your manifestation because I get that the intention is there. I think you need to kick yourself up the bum. I really do, Gemini. Um, because sure as hell, nobody else is going to do that for you. They're just not. So, my lovelies. Let's find out what started your what the fuck. Oh, there's a bit of a story there, Gemini. In fact, there's a massive story there. So, facing your fears and taking your power back. Manifestation and wish fulfillment. Why it may be fucked. Movement and journey for Gemini plays. Yeah, this deck is really thin because half of them are there. And normally I would go, I'm not taking that then, eh? Movement and journey. Where the fuck you need to be. Now we're looking. We've got half the deck out on the table. Go and make yourself a cup of tea. It's going to be a long one. What you can do about the situation. What the fuck is out of your hands? Reconnecting to your true self and your outcome. So let's start. Where did that come from? That was not on that, was it? It just wasn't. But he fell on top of it, so do you know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. It's part of your wish fulfillment manifestation. We'll soon suss it if it's not. Oh, my Lord. Really? So, darlings, I'm kind of getting that you realise that a harvest was coming in where you had sown seeds many, many, many years ago, um, and you're finally seeing something come of that. Um... But it's led to some options, choices or blessings. Um, but I am getting that you are overstretching. Um, look, you're tippy-toeing on that store over a fire. All of those ones are yours. You can have them all. You can choose one, whatever. Da, 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 da. But this harvest has led to those options, choices and blessings. And I'm kind of getting for you that you don't know quite what to do. And you're overstretching, trying to reach a wand that's identical to all the other ones. Okay. And in you come, my darlings, with the Queen of Earth Thames. Male or female, highly intelligent, highly intuitive. She knows. She knows the story. She knows how to play the game, this one. She has a weapon. The only queen that has a weapon. And she knows that after giving some deliberation to stuff, the thinking about things, she knows when to cut things out of her life. She knows when things are no longer serving her higher good and she just cuts things away. Occasionally she will prune things out to see if there's new growth. Not very often, I have to say. Um, nine times out of ten, once that knife comes down... Um, the Queen of Athames really means her shit. 
so there you are that's you and then in being behind that queen in comes the knight of pentacles uh moving slowly but towards the queen um in the right direction career um home life money this could be somebody that uh, an earthy person i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say an earth so i'm gonna say an earthy person who's heading towards you but haven't made their move because they don't think that they've got enough to offer you yet they're still moving towards their harvest whereas yours has come in and i think that they are really aware of that wow this is a story and a half and do you know something right in behind that um is the four of pentacles who the fuck is your energy vampire i have to say darlings with the four of pentacles sometimes i get that people are saving for something or holding on to something uh, maybe for sentimental value um maybe not but just recently i am getting that there's somebody knocking on that door and they could have bled you dry financially they could have bled you dry um emotionally physically and mentally and you're going hell fucking no this lot is mine you've had the rest you're not having any more from me i'm done with this uh, because you know that it's taken a lot of hard work and effort for you to get those choices and blessings that you waited for when you was carving out your career um, working beautifully and steadily now as the master craftsman or the craftsman even i should say and um, there is a period of rest that was needed around you going into karma waters um and recognizing that you needed to touch base with the page of chalices now this could be a younger person than you that's a water sign um maybe have a similar interest to you um could just be a really loving giving child that has piqued your interest about something that they're doing but it is reminding you to tap into your inner child to your inner self um and allowing yourself to exactly be who you want to be um without all this rubbish that's right in the middle of this um So this harvest, I'm kind of getting that the harvest has come in, but it's made you start taking stock of what it is that you want now and where you are going. And you're definitely, do you know something? I keep looking at those two cards. I think that the four of pentacles is the same one as this knight. That's why they're coming in as a knight and not as a king or queen. They're coming in at a much lesser level because i'm gonna say they've they've bled you fucking dry darling they've bled you dry in every way shape and form they're right in the middle of that fucking reading um and i'm kind of getting that as much as you gave they fucking held on tight to what was theirs and what was yours even but you know you batten down the hatches you got on you became the craftsman you worked damn hard for what you got you knew you needed to take a rest and you knew you needed to get back into touch with yourself but you really have decided to cut all of that bollocks out um i'm kind of getting that it's gone i'm kind of getting that this is probably well underway for you to be sorting out gemini i really do and in comes the king of a famous you've got the male the queen and the king male or female again we're dealing with energies here um the king of a famous he is this no-nonsense king he likes the truth the whole truth and nothing but the fucking truth he um will cut away right down to the bare bones so that he can get to the truth of the matter he does not like he said she said he doesn't like lies um 
And I have to say, uh, a lot of the times when I see him, um, it's because there's something legal going on. And I'm getting that facing your fears and taking your power back is you've stood in this queen energy and cut the bollocks and the bullshit out. And perhaps this person has threatened you with legal action or they've threatened you in some fucking way, shape or form. And what you've done is it's gone bollocks. I've cut you out, mate. And now I'm not taking any nonsense. You know, I was dealing with you in my queen energy, my kinder energy. Now you've got the king and now you're dealing with the king. And I'm telling you, you want to take me on? You fucking take me on. Because I am not putting up with this. I'm not putting up with this. And I think facing your fears was kind of like, oh shit, do they mean business? And then all of a sudden, taking your power back, you've lifted that athame up and you've gone, I'll fucking cut you out. What are you talking about? What the hell are you on about? You're gone. You're nothing to me. Do your worst. Ooh, it's a bit powerful. So your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, why it may be fucked, it's not fucked at all, darlings. You've got the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles is my apprenticeship card. And it could be that you're thinking of learning something new or you could be learning something new to add to your already well-equipped toolkit. Um, but there's a little bit of added magic there. I'm kind of getting that you know um, how to do this. You just need the paperwork to prove it, Gemini. Well done for that. And here you are coming back triumphantly. Um, after an issue or a problem, um, those horses are galloping forward. There's a celebration to be had. And then the universe goes, yeah, your hands are not on those reins. So you're just going to have to sit back and enjoy the fucking journey. And what I'm getting is, is that you really want to enjoy this apprenticeship, this new way of being, this new way of learning, whatever it is for you, whether it is something to do with your job, whether it's something to do with a pastime, whether it's something to do with spirituality, um, I'm getting that it will make you some money eventually, but they're saying, enjoy this, enjoy it, um, because if you have already got a well-equipped well toolkit, You've put the fucking hard work in. You've already been the craftsman. So now you need to step up. Get this extra piece under your belt. Really enjoy doing it. And become the master craftsman. So your movement, your journey. Where the fuck you need to be. Nature. Stop self-limiting. Stop self-restricting. Release that fucking trap and go off with your mate who's the bear and go and dance with the wood nymphs. Do you know they look like goats, don't they? I don't know. Yeah, just go and dance with them. Just go and dance in the woods. Can you see all these fireflies that are lighting up the woods? Um, almost like a nightclub, if you like. He's kind of... Do I release the trap or do I leave it? The bear's going, I ain't fucking putting my paw in there. You can sod off. I'm off. I'm going to go and dance with the wood nymphs. And he really wants you to go with him because what he is seeing is if you let your hair down and you stop self-restricting and stop self-limiting, in comes your ten of pentacles. This is the family. And when I use the word family, I mean the people that you like to have around you that... You feel of your family, not necessarily blood related. Um, the sun is shining. You have got the cherry blossoms. There's all of the generations in the garden. Um, this is stability 101. This is everybody coming together to support everybody else. This is my maybe an older person is coming towards you and needs a little bit of extra help at the moment. Or maybe it's a young person who is fledging for the first time and the family are really um, coming together to make sure that either of those stories um, pan out the way they should do. I'm not getting any essence that you're going to be left holding the fucking baby. Right in behind that. 
got the five of wands so this is my ego card um and i have to say there is some fucking mighty egos around you at the moment i'm kind of getting that there's you this land beavering away um and these people they can make magic I think they're capable of doing both. I think you realise that. Um, don't try and be the puppet master with these people. If they're not old enough, ugly enough and whatever enough to sort themselves out, don't you try and sort them, sort them out because they'll still be friends while you get left out in the cold. Just don't go there. I'm just getting like, oh. They're friends, but they're not for I don't even know how to explain that. Perhaps it's because you're a friend with one of them and this is one of their crowd, but I'm getting you don't really fit in because you don't really fucking like them, even. Mm. And in comes the King of Chalices. Now, this king, you know I don't like the King of Chalices very much. I don't. Water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Um... He'll raise a glass with you. He will sit and eat with you. He will say all the nice stuff. But he'll be fucked if he's going to tell you how he feels. I don't even get in that perhaps this, this is Dishonesty 101 with the ego card right in front of it. Um, I'm kind of getting that this is your energy and this is their energy. And what I'm getting from this is don't believe everything that you fucking hear. Don't believe it. Do not um, get sucked in by a storyline. Just don't do it. Um, I just heard sob story. Just heard sob story. Don't go there. Don't go there. I'm I'm getting that this this is one of the same things. So perhaps your friend is the water sign, male or female, um, and they say all the right things in the right places and nicey nicey and all the rest of it. Um, but their ego is quite fucking large. They think that they're the dog's bollocks. In an actual fact, they're just the next nag, darling. Really, honestly, and I'm getting the feeling that maybe you've looked up to this person. Um, in the past but something's dented your view of them where you've been beavering away it could even be the this same person here but it's like you've been beavering away um and they've kind of taken all of the fucking glory around it so what can you do about this situation six of wands allow yourself to come back to accolade over what it is that you are doing with friends, family and community. Just allow it to happen. Because if you do that and you come back riding high, your aura, your inner light will change and the it, you will become more attractive. It's my attraction card. And I don't just mean sort of like, lovers and all of that i mean in every sense of the word attractive you will look attractive you will feel attractive people will start noticing you you will start noticing that people are saying hello to you in the streets simple as um so that's what you can do about the situation is allow yourself to come back to that accolade and have that celebration and let your light shine do not hide your light under a bushel just don't do that to yourself because that would not be fair and that would be feeding into this bullshit you want this bit where you're not self-limiting where the family is coming together for the benefit of the family and then you're allowing yourself to come back with this um accolade with this celebration so, my lovelies, what's out of your hands? You've got the seven of chalices, another load of options, blessings and choices to be made. There is a warning with this, though, because all of those chalices are in the upright. They are all equally as good as each other. Some are partially filled, some are overspilling, um, but they're all yours. You can have one or you can leave some of them behind it's entirely up to you but the moral of this story is is don't allow people 
to whisper in your ear about their preferences. Because if you make a decision based on somebody else's preferences, it becomes their decision, it becomes their baby, it becomes their chalices, and it's not yours any longer. Now, the universe is holding that off. The universe is saying, I'm not letting you do that because you've already put yourself at risk looking at your options and choices. So then you go and throw in the mix somebody having their little say about something and it could be this king of chalices that has their say and it makes you change your mind which means it is not your choice at all. And the universe is saying we're holding on to that. Those options aren't going to be readily available to you until you stop listening to other people. It's as simple as that. And what was I saying earlier about resourcefulness and passing that information on and uh, becoming the tutor becoming the pupil the pupil becoming the tutor and in comes the three of pentacles the collaboration card this is exactly that this is exactly that this is surprising information coming from surprising sources this is sort of like it looks like the guy in the white is the teacher and the guy in the red is the pupil. But in actual fact, you can't actually say that. You don't know who's teaching who there. And I'm kind of getting that reconnecting to your true self is even Stevens. So this training that you want to do, this reconnecting to yourself, um, your true self is that this is what you want to do. You want to be teaching and learning at the same time. Isn't that amazing? That is wonderful. It is wonderful because I think that you're already doing it and the intentionality is actually it's being shown to you that you are already doing what it is that you want to do. You just need that piece of paper to say that you can do it. So my darling, is your last, no, it's not your last card, but your outcome, the witch. She's asking you to go back to basics. She's asking you to step back, take a look, protect yourself and go back to basics. Now, there's all the elements there. There's earth, air, fire and water. Um, and I have to say that there is a lot to be said of getting rid of paraphernalia and going back to basics and protecting yourself 100%. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Two of Wands, what's being hidden from you. And the Two of Wands tells me that it is now time for you to go out on your quest, to go out and do what it is that you want to do. Um, and it may mean that you're going to leave your comfort zone. But do you know something? Nobody ever got anything done without doing exactly that. Um, so, yes, yeah, step out of your comfort zone understand that as you step out of your comfort zone you will find a new comfort zone it only becomes comfortable because we're familiar with it so the whispering woods what have they got to tell us time embrace the dew drops of life before they disappear with the morning sun dance what was we saying about leaving the trap behind allow yourself some fun each day just as the sun dances with the moon each night Ooh, that's beautiful and that really ties in with that card forbearance do not be deterred by the thorn amidst the roses are they roses but they're bloody thorny. I think they're thistles, actually. They have got some hell of thorns on them. They really have. Wow. That came together very strongly at the end, didn't it? Please watch out for this person. I don't know, actually, what star sign they are. Because I think we've got nearly everything on the table. But I do get... That they may come across as being really earthy, really caring, really lovely, like an earth mother type. And then they've got this ability to just make you feel fucking worthless. Because they just... 
they just feather their own cap they just feather their own cap it's their ego that they want to brush not yours so angels and ancestors can i have some knowledge wisdom and guidance for gemini please oh thank you anything else for gemini please Oh, and I am not taking that lot. I'm going to take those ones. But I am not taking half the deck. Oh, no. No, no, no. Those came out last. He came out first. She came out second. Shame them. Trust in higher forces. Allow your spiritual self to become in tune um, with what's going on around you. Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Dines, you may well be right about something. Um, it doesn't mean that you've got to verbalise it. Just know that you're right. You don't need to justify why you're right. Just know that you are. Summer, bask in joy and light. Night, be brave and honest. Great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences and warrior be fearless and stand strong crack is a few here isn't there so we have a p and an a an r a j a u and an x so Darlings, like I said, initials, first names, surnames, names of places, um, maybe a job you're doing, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, okay. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but just let me know in the comments if you like that sort of thing. I'm not over keen on these beads, to be perfectly honest. Um, and I am looking for something that will be more tangible and maybe have some numbers as well. Because I feel that numbers can be a lot more relevant to people than um, initials, letters, whatever. So, my lovely Geminis, wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.